Hello everybody. So today I'm going to speak about Cognos Server installation. What are the steps required to install Cognos Server? Okay, let's get started. So first you would need a Windows Server provisioned to install a Cognos Server. So the server would be with a minimum hardware requirements like we would have Windows Server 2016 64 bit hardware would be installed on that and the minimum CPU requirements would be of four cores and minimum RAM would be 10 GB. Okay, so you can decide how much disk space that you would need to keep but note at least minimum 12 GB of free space should be available always for the Cognos functions and processors to run uh, without any uh, disturbances okay <clears throat> okay moving for the next we would have uh, we would need to download the Cognos installables from IBM Cognos Passport Advantage webpage. So there will be a webpage that IBM will provide. So we, you would need to log into that webpage and download the installable files. Okay. So you can find all these details on. Uh, for details about the hardware requirements in the Cognos uh, documentation. So next we would need a database. So probably any database. So here uh, you can create two schemas. So one would be of Cognos content store and another would be of Cognos audit. So Cognos content store will have uh, tables uh, that is that are related to Cognos content <clears throat> and the Cognos audit schema will store the tables related to Cognos auditing like some users are using Cognos they're running reports so all those metadata will be stored in these tables so next we'll have uh, Java installation so here we'll install Java and <clears throat> we'll also download the drivers that needs to be set after we install so we'll keep all these things ready then we will think about oracle client installation so what oracle client or what client do we need to install so here i am talking about oracle client because the data the original data that i am connecting is located in oracle so that is the reason why i'm talking about oracle so while deciding what version of Oracle client that I need to install, this would be based on uh, what is my uh, query mode. So in Cognos, we have two query modes, CQM, uh, compatible query mode and dynamic query mode. So if I am currently on CQM, I would be using 32-bit version of client installation because uh, the CQM does not support 64-bit version of Oracle client installation. So I would install 32 bit uh, you know, um, yeah, Oracle client installation. So, if you are completely on DGM, then you would go with Oracle client 64 bit version of installation. <clears throat> Next, I would need a service account. So, I will create a service account and then the server that I provisioned initially, I will log into that server and grant this service account administrative administrative access and remote desktop user access so i'll go to the server and go to the administrative tool go to the computer management and then to the local users and groups and under groups we'll have two groups that are administrators and uh, remote desktop users under these two groups i will add my service account as uh, members so that will set up my initial process to get started with the Cognos server installation okay with this we have ended the part one of Cognos single server installation stay tuned for the more upcoming uh, parts of this 